Next up for you to view, we've got uh, a chap called Daniel Cameroon. And Daniel will be arriving with us shortly on the screen. Here we go. Okay, Daniel, are you there? Can you hear me? I can hear you, Daniel. I can't see you yet. There, I've got you. Wonderful. If we could just get the spotlight put on Daniel, that would be fantastic. Wonderful. Welcome. Welcome, Daniel. And how are you today? Feeling very well, but nervous. Otherwise, very well. Wonderful. So, tell us about yourself and about your work that you're presenting to us today. Right. Um, obviously, I'm Daniel. Um, I'm from Liverpool in England. Um, 33 years old. Um, for me, my art journey began as a young child. Um, always picking up a pencil or a pen, just drawing on, on whatever I can, really, um, and just trying to create as much as I could and be creative within my work. Um, and then growing up, I got more into graphic design and commercial design rather than traditional drawings like you see now. Um, and then when I got into an adult life, adult life, I'm getting a regular job, I'm children. I sort of didn't find the time to do my artwork anymore. So I sort of lost it for about 10 years of my life and not doing a piece, one piece of artwork. And then last year, I just had the idea to pick it back up. Um, and just start creating again. Um, and the first thing that obviously is available is probably a pencil, the most simple tool that you can probably think of. So I just, as, as I've always tried to use pencils, I try to draw things that are inspirational to me and what I find interesting. And one of the first images I drew was a Tupac image. Um, and it was around the time of like the BLM movement and everything that was going on in the world. So I thought it was a bit of a, statement piece to sort of go with go along with that and with with it being Tupac and the history of Tupac and I grew up listening to him the stories he tells are very inspirational and sort of try and promote equality between everyone so that was one of the first things I thought of was for him to draw and the reason I picked that image is because of the, the level of detail within that image um, with the bandana his hand his fingernail everything the background in terms of the, the, the blurriness and the, the focus on it. Um, and that's where I try and look forward in images that I, that I draw. But not just a, I'm more of a portrait artist, but I like to pick images that have got more interesting things than the portrait. So as you can see behind me, there's three other images to go in this series of iconic people that I've chosen. Um, and each one of them have got a bit of detail that is different than just a portrait. So that's what I try and focus on is you see the face, but then you'll focus on a lot of a lot of other areas rather than just the face. Um, and it's all just done in, in pencil, um, using blending techniques, erasing, taking away parts of the drawing, taking away some of the graphite, and to give more detail, to give the level of highlights and shadows and contrast. Um, rather than that, it's just layer on layer of, of graphite and trying to get to a certain level of that, and then just, just smoothing it all out. Um, I don't think the image on the thing on the website gives it justice of the detail I've put into it, because um, I don't. It was just a normal camera, but other than that, I just try and create images that are more interesting, than just a portrait. And obviously, with the two black one, it's you don't even see his face really. You see the silhouette, but the more interesting details, like the hand, and like the bandana. Um, other than that, like, that's pretty much it. Thank you oh. very much. Daniel, thank you ever so much. They're, they're, they're fantastic, actually. Really, really wonderful. And let's go to the judges to see their views on, on your artwork. Geetha, what are your thoughts? Hi, Daniel. Hi. I'm so glad you uh, your inspiration was rekindled um, in, in the last year to take it up again. Um, about this, your presentation of this work, straight away, it is such a strong narrative even without looking at the details of your work, it's such a strong narrative there. And of course, the details add so much value to it and there's so much to look at uh, just from an artistic perspective to see the technique and the skills involved and so on. Um, 
I particularly liked the bandana, uh, which is so realistically done. Love the background, which is there, but not really giving too much, not being highlighted. I would have said even just the finger alone, just the middle finger alone would have conveyed the message, but you did not do that. Um, the realistic aspect comes from um, a normal personality. One would wear a bandana, one would wear a chain. You could see bits of that. And somebody who's not shaved fully, perhaps I could see a little bit of beard and so on. So such details that way, just to talk about, as you talk, talked about equality and inequality and so on. So, so it represented all that you said. So um, in that sense, it was wonderful. Um, shadow and the lighting also worked really well you know the darkness the light uh, around the neck area and so on it's beautiful can i ask you about the diamond studded watch what what what, what was that conveying is is there a uh, you know a specific reason that he was that that looked like an expensive watch is was there any any reason behind that yeah, there's no reason in it. It, it it's basically it was in the reference image so I, I usually, what I do when I research reference images is I look for something more interesting than just someone's face. Right. So you don't necessarily draw to someone's facial features, you're drawn to other parts of the image rather than just the, the general face yeah. on its own. Yeah. So for some reason my attention was drawn to that. And uh, even though the face is not well lit, I could still see the expression of being frustrated. And, and that, that's a huge success, I think, for an artist to come across as, you know, what they are trying to say is, is sort of revealed in that sense. I really, really um, appreciate you for your grand work. All the very best. Thank you, Thank you very much, Geetha. Terry, over to you. Right. Uh, oh, hi, Daniel. Um, hi. You are very brave taking quite an iconic image and an iconic artist and creating your own interpretation of that. So when I first saw that, I just thought, oh, this is a photograph of Tupac. <laughs> but then obviously it clearly was not. But I think what you've done, Daniel, is you have added your own style and interpretation on these very strong and iconic images and individuals. Um, I think for me, it is really poignant that we have art that says something and says something in a contemporary setting and in a consent contemporary environment, because I believe that the power of art is more than just to soothe and make us feel good, but it, it is about communicating strong messages and your work clearly does that. These powerful people, I can see that you got, um, you got Muhammad Ali there, Jay-Z, and um, I know her name, but I forgot her name. Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn, of course, yeah. And you know, three very powerful. But, but what you've done, Daniel, and and when I compared, I, I actually compared the photo, um, Miller's photo, with your 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 painting, and you're absolutely right. The 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 middle finger. Now that's obviously controversial in some settings, but really quite justifiable for many people. Mm -hmm. But the middle finger really stands out. And we all know uh, Tupac from his, his very controversial anti-establishment uh, sentiments. And I think what you've done with this image is really brought that to the, the fore, really, get, really reinforced his message and reinforced the notion of, of with, these, with these iconic images that these are people of today's standing. These are people with things that represent important messages and an important time for our, our style. There's absolutely, in my mind, no mistaking the strong essence and spirit of these images. And I think what you've done is really reinforced, highlighted them in your interpretation. So very well done. Oh, thank you very much, Terry. Emily. Hi, Daniel. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm so glad that you've got back into um, drawing again and um, being an artist because obviously you mentioned having a family, you know, that can take a lot of your time. Um, when I first looked at this, I thought, is that a photo? I mean, again, it's um, done with pencil and you, you mentioned it's very time consuming. Um, so, for example, how long did that take, that particular two pack one? It might take between 20 to 25 hours. Yeah, I mean, the detail in it is just amazing isn't it um again it, it's it shows um tupac struggle um growing up in the society young black man a rapper 
Um, you know, he's an iconic figure. I think Terry has um, gone over that side of things quite a bit, so I won't really draw on that too much. But it was just the way you've captured that that man and um, and, and what he stood for at that time. Um, and also, it's the way you've got the you know foreground foreground is very still, and then you've got this blurring in the background, so it makes him stand out even stronger. And that message is really coming through. And it's quite nice that you've actually mentioned Black Lives Matters because with what's been happening, well, in the win for 2020, you know, it, it's very important that we draw on things that are topical um, and make people think. And at first somebody would look at this piece of art and actually see the negativity of the finger up. But actually when you look deeper and the meaning behind it and you find out the story behind Tupac, you know, you would have a different take on it. But in terms of the pencil, work and the drawing it's absolutely fabulous and i was really drawn to it to this piece of work and actually if it's for sale i do have somebody that would like to buy it is it for sale yeah it is it's available wow well i'll let I'll, I'll speak to you but yeah um i showed it to somebody and they said they'd like to buy that so okay thank you very much daniel well done thank you. oh wow well daniel what do you think about that well your nerves must be disappearing now you've already got one of the judges thinking that someone could buy your piece of art. Um, I'm very overwhelmed. Um, I've never had my art on a, on a stage like this before, so it is very daunting for me because I'm, so, I'm a perfectionist. I try and put everything into, into a piece of art that I can, and the reason it'll take me so long is that I want every detail to be perfect. Um, and it's, I think that's what's inspired me to get back into art, is that there's a lot of things going on in the world that are is very unsure we're all very unsure of and one thing that i've got control of is what i do in art and as i said it, it's it, as we've mentioned before it, this image probably brings it back to the forefront of what Tupac was fighting for over two decades ago absolutely and it brings that back into relevance and keeps you thinking about the message Oh, Daniel, those, the comments have been absolutely amazing. I'm not surprised. We've also got some questions from the audience here. Uh, one of our audience members are asking if you have your own Instagram page or website. They're very interested in looking at your art. Yeah, um, I have an Instagram and I'm in the process of setting up a website. Um, my Instagram is Dan Cameron Art. Um, so I'll just type that into Instagram. I'll, be, I'll put it in the comments section in a minute. If people... Please, please do. Please do, Daniel. But well done. Fantastic. And, and good luck. Good Thank luck you. with the competition, Daniel. Take care. Bye.